So uh, as we say, let's, uh, this one will be working from behind. The normal class will be doing group accounting for all the classes. So each one is a proper human. Okay. So uh, I want us to do a topic here, but we really need to finish. If we can finish, it's called IFRS 8. IFRS number 8. Operating segments. Operating segments. So if you go to Safari from today, you will find different sections. Like which one? Yeah. When you go to Safari from office today, which sections will you find? The ones you are familiar with. Yeah. Customer service. Yeah. I'm sure. Yes. 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 Among others. So at the end of the year, or at the end of the reporting period, Safari Com will say that they have reported super normal profits. But you may find out of this profit, there is one section which reported what? A loss. So uh, this standard requires that before you give us the general uh, report for the entire organization, can you tell us departmental reports? So those departmental reports are what we call segmental reporting. This is section five. This is section five, four, three, six, and among others. So once you tell us that the fees in companies, these were the expense expenses. How much is this income from section five? Four, three, and that. So when you report on departmental health, what you are doing, you are giving us what is called segmental what? Reporting. So segmental reporting is simply reporting on departments within the organization. So let us write those who are coming now. You view. You want to start writing? Were you, why were you shocked? Were you yeah, I saw so many things. Si colega pre Ah, so no, you want to ask me if you are on the We don't want to get up in the morning. Uh, let's write. You say so we are writing from the back. So you are laughing that I'll be waiting. Eh? And now let's start writing. You say an operating segment. An operating segment is a component of an entity. An operating segment is a component of an entity. A component of an entity that engages in business activities, that engages in business activities from which it may earn, from which it may earn revenue, from which it may earn revenue and incur expenses, it may earn revenue and in car expenses, in brackets, including revenue, including revenue, and expenses related, revenue and expenses related to transactions, to transactions with other components, 
with other components within the same entity. Other components within the same entity. Full stop. Another event, a segment should be a component of a business. A segment should be a component of a business whose operation, operating, sorry, should be a component of a business whose operating results, whose operating results are reviewed. Operating results are reviewed on a regular basis, are reviewed on a regular basis, full stop. Subtopic, reportable segments. Reportable, reportable segment. So we don't report on all segments. So you say there, IFRS 8 requires, IFRS 8 requires that an entity, IFRS 8 requires that an entity should only report on a segment, an entity should only report on a segment if it meets on a segment, it meets the following criteria. If it meets the following criteria. Roman one. Roman one. If it's reported revenue, if it's reported revenue, if it's reported revenue, both internal and external, it's reported revenue, both internal and external, forms at least 10%. Both internal and external forms at least 10% or more, or more of the combined revenue, or more of the combined revenue, Number two, or Roman two, if it's absolute measure, if it's absolute measure of profit stock loss, it's absolute measure of profit stock loss is at least 10%, is at least 10% or more, is at least 10% or more, of the reported profits, of the reported profits, stock loss. And finally, number three, number three, if its assets are at least 10%, if its assets are at least 10% or more, at least 10% or more of the reported of the reported assets, of the reported assets, full stop. So we are saying, just for the purposes of those who are coming now or joining now, if this is an entity and we are giving example of Safari Corp, some people say when you go to Safari Corp, there's a, a section known as, in a quantum full leader, I said, am I S? So, some people say there is what? Emshwari, <laughs> there is Mpesa, and there is Okoa Jaz, yeah? So at the end of the day, Safaricom will tell you that they have reported a super normal profit for that year. But when you go down, you will realize that maybe, for example, in this department here, there was huge loss. So the loss has just been, uh, has just been, has just been, absorbed eh? with these others leading to that profit which you are seeing to be super normal. So this standard requires that before you say that uh, you have a super normal profit for the entire entity, tell us how much you generated from here, there, there, and there. 
However, we don't report on all the segments. The standard requires, and this one was a question somewhere we check, for you to report on a segment, there must be three rules. Number one, check number one, what are we saying? For a segment to be reported upon, one, it reported revenue, both internal and external. Internal is, uh, nowadays management accounting is not there. Those, but those who are doing management accounting, you know about transfer pricing. Sure. Transfer pricing, they intersect what? Sales. If this segment sells to other, this section sells to that other section, that is called transfer pricing. So those are the intersegment sales or the internal sales. So when you take the total revenue, both internal and external, it should be at least 10% of the combined. If it is less than 10%, then it should not be reported upon. We'll see what happens. If it's profit or loss, it's at least 10% and the assets must also be at least what? 10%. So if they don't meet the 10% threshold, then this is what you do. So right there, an iPhone down there. If a segment fails to meet, if a segment fails to meet, a segment fails to meet, 10% threshold fails to meet the 10% threshold, fails to meet the 10% threshold, comma, its operations should be aggregated. Its operations should be aggregated with those of other segments should be aggregated with those of other segments, with those of other segments, in order to meet the threshold. With those of other segments in order to meet the threshold, full stop. What does that mean? If you find this segment is not meeting the 10%, this one is not meeting, then combine their results until they meet the 10%. So this, and this will be combined to be one segment. Another event, if the external revenue of a reportable segment, if the external revenue, the external revenue of a reportable segment of a reportable segment constitutes less than 75% constitutes less than 75% of the entities, entities with apostrophe, not plural, 75% of the entities revenue Then additional operating segments should be identified. Then additional operating segments should be identified, should be identified as a reportable segment, should be identified as a reportable segment, even if they fail to meet, even if they fail to meet, even if they fail to meet the 10% threshold, they fail to meet the 10% threshold on profit stock loss. On profit stock loss, full stop. So what we are saying is this, you may find for the assets, it is meeting the 10% threshold. For the revenue, it is meeting the 10% threshold. For the which one? Revenue 10%, assets 10%. For profit stock loss, they are also meeting what? The 10%. But here on revenue, revenue, uh, remember we have said both internal and what? External. Where internal is the intersegment sales. But when you consider only the external, this one here, the standard requires that external revenue should be at least what percentage? 75. So if you realize that maybe, uh, yes, finance is 10%, but when you compare this and this, this one is even forming 90% of the revenue, then it means these people are not even having a market share. They are only selling a market them, themselves. So if it fails to meet, the, if the external revenue is not more than 75% of the entire revenue, 
then this one should not even be reported at all, even if it is meeting these others. So we rather select another segment, which at least form the 10%, and its revenue, its revenue, uh, even if its revenue is, uh, is not meeting the 10% threshold, but this one is 75. You know this one can be 75, but this one fails to be 10%. It's possible. So if it's not meeting the 10% threshold, but it can reach 75%, then we have the report on that one, provided this one is 10%. So revenue should always be 75% uh, when you compare internal and external revenue. Advantages of segmental reporting. Advantages of segmental reporting. Advantages of segmental reporting. Number one, it provides a condensed Condensed. It provides a condensed information, a condensed information to the users of financial statements. Condensed information to the users of financial statements. Two, it promotes accountability and transparency. It promotes accountability and transparency to the management. Accountability and transparency to the management. Number three, it is a requirement by IFRS 8. It is a requirement by IFRS 8 that all listed companies in the stock market is a requirement by IFRS 8 that all listed companies, all listed companies in the stock market should provide a segmental report. Should provide a segmental report at the end of each reporting period. At the end of each reporting period the end of each reporting period, full stop. Limitations of segmental reporting. Okay, number three, I said, it's a requirement by IFRS 8 that all listed companies in the stock market should provide a segmental report, should provide a segmental report at the end of each reporting period should provide a segmental report at the end of each reporting period, full stop. Limitations of segmental reporting. Limitations of segmental reporting. Limitations of segmental reporting. One, for one, Identification of primary segment, primary. Identification of primary segments. Identification of primary segments for reporting purposes. Primary segment for reporting purposes may be subjective. May be subjective. May be subjective. Number two, it increases operational costs. It increases the operational costs. It increases the operational costs since segmental reports. Since segmental reports are considered Segmental reports are considered to be additional information, be additional information to the financial statements. Additional information to the financial statements. Next, it may delay the annual general meeting, that is AGM, may delay the AGM, 
since the shareholders since the shareholders may be interested in the segmental information shareholders may be interested in the segmental information mental information, full stop, full stop, full stop, full stop. Format of a segmental report, so have this format, format of a segmental report. Format. So take your ruler for the format. I will use format very fast. So right there, X group. Oh, it's not a must for all companies to prepare segmental reports. It's only compulsory for entities listed in the stock markets. That is compulsory. Two, what you need to know, for a company to be listed in the stock market, it must be a group of companies. I don't know that you're aware of that. All companies trading in the stock market are always group of companies. That is where a parent has acquired subsidiaries and others. So segmental reports, you will always find them for the group of companies. So X group, consolidated, right? Segmental, segmental reports for the year ended, for the year ended, that one which will be done at the customer. So, uh, uh, let's say now, I want to assume that this company is having like two segments only. So I'll call this one segment one. So let's say we have segment one and segment two. They can even be part to segment two. Then here you write an adjustment stop elimination. Adjustment stop elimination. Then you say here consolidated. Consolidated. That's that is how so yeah you have the machines so you will give us uh, revenue Stock sales, so external, external revenue, external revenue is also known as sales to third parties, so you give us here, what's the reason to adjust? Then intercept intercept revenue, intercept revenue, we give us here. But now that one, we don't take it to the consolidated. Now, what you get, you call it total.
Then give us segment profit. Segment profit. Then we say operating profit. Operating profit. Total the segment the segment profit. So the segment profit will give us here. So we will have this. Then other items. Other items here. We have finance costs. Very common. Finance costs. From the interest. That's post of interest. So those ones are located. Capture them here. Then the investment income. Investment income. Investment income there. Yeah. That is the total. Then give us now segment assets in that order. Segment assets. Identifiable identifiable are those which are attached to each segment. Then unallocated. Unallocated assets. Getter assets and bring them here. Then segment liabilities. Segment liabilities. Fireball first. That it should be an adjustment for this. Then an allocated.
There is one more remaining. Finish that one first. There is one more remaining there. Allocated. An allocated assets. So let me write the one more remaining, then I'll turn the camera to those who are online. Uh, one more remaining is none. So you just proceed down there. None cash expenses. This one you have to disclose. So things like depreciation, amortization, among others. So if they are there for each segment, <coughs> you have to indicate, then you give us the total. So that is the end. That is the end. So allow me to start with September 2021 for illustration. September 2021. Hope you're done with the format. Open the papers.
Which question? September 2021. So on September 2021, question 2B. September 2021, question 2B. September 2021, So September 2021, question 2B. Seems everyone is there. So let us read. Jans, why are you worried? It is normal. Tanaza Limited is what was on my Tanaza Limited is bus whose equity shares are quoted at the Nairobi Securities Exchange. The group manufactures huh? the group manufactures, distributes, and retail food products. The group also operates in a hotel chain. For purposes of diversifying its revenue, the group's financial controller wishes to know if IFRS 8, that is operating segment, applies to the entity, and if so, what segments should be reported on? Hmm. Which segments do you report? Do you, do you report on? If the revenue. The revenue must be ten percent of the total revenue. The assets must be at least ten percent of the total assets. Profit or loss must be at least what percentage? Ten percent. So that is when you report on that segment. He informs you that the operating results of each of the divisions presented below are internally reported separately to the chief operating decision maker. The following information is available. So we have business, manufacturing, distribution, retail, and hotel chain. So those are the segments. Those four are the segments. Revenue, external. External are the ones which they sold to other, other customers apart from the group. Then revenue internal. Those are the sales between segments themselves. They are called inter-segment sales. Profit or loss, and the assets, as you can see, they are required. By applying the requirements of IFRS 8 to the above information, explain which of the above businesses of another limited are reportable what segments. So that is 10 marks. So to know which one to report on, can you test each revenue at least 10%? Uh, revenue should be both internal and what external. So for revenue, you will have to combine. Profit also must be at least 10% of the combined. Even loss must be at least 10%. Then the assets must be 10% of the combined. So let's kick off. Let's start with uh, revenue. So let's start with revenue. Revenue, revenue, revenue. So let's start with revenue. You have to do them one at a time. So for revenue, For revenue, you write your segment or business. 
then total total revenue then percentage let's have their percentage so manufacturing we have manufacturing we have manufacturing we have distribution we have distribution we have retailing we have retail chain so total revenue can you add you add both internal and external revenue so this is 460 plus 250 giving you seven seven ten distribution is five plus 42 giving you 47 retail is 750 plus 15 giving you 765 hotel chain is 150 plus three giving you 150 which one three can you give us the total revenue the total revenue So Onuko is asking, can someone take a photo of the question and post in the group? I think the, the past paper is in the group. And Onuko, you are in which, uh, which class? In early morning or evening, specify. Because what you are you don't know now which one you are requesting. You are in which class? And so the total revenue is which one? Is how much? Huh? 16? 75. Uh, give me the percentages. Give me the percentages. Look how you got the question. Because we don't know which class you are in, so we don't know which group to share. So give the percentages. You express them as a percentage of the total. We can do uh, let's round off or, or one. Let's do one. Eh? Let's do one. Let's move less or two. Two maximum. Yes, let's work with the two. Early morning. Uh, so let me see if the entire past paper is there. As you get to the percentages. Or someone has already sent. So survive with that one for now. Eh, is this one the one we are doing? But the person who has shared this one, oh yeah, that is the one we are doing. So survive with that one for now. Then I'll post the entire past paper. Let me cross check. Or you joined yesterday. So I've posted for you the entire paper. You can print it at your free time. So help with the percentages. Here we are. 42. 39 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 2.81. 
and retailing. Yes, that's true. Manufacturing and retailing are considered to be reportable segments. Are considered to be reportable segments. To be reportable segments. Full stop. Because for you to report the uh, the total revenue should be at least one percentage to ten percent. So if revenue is the benchmark to be used only, then we are only reporting on the manufacturing and retailing. Those two. Let's go to profits, stock loss. Let's go to profits. Profit, stock loss. Profit, stock loss. So profit, stock loss. The same. Same, same thing there. Segments. Then you say total. Then the percentage is there. So manufacturing, manufacturing, distribution, retailing, then hotel chain. No, before you write hotel chain, you must stop at over uh, retailing first. Stop at the retailing. Then can you read what we wrote about the profit? The threshold. Someone to give the threshold for profit stock loss. There's something you need to check there. It's, it's absolute. Of the reported profit or what? Yes. Or no. So if you check the question keenly, you realize hotel chain there was what? A loss, a loss of 14. So for you to report on that segment, the profit should be at least 10% of the total profit, and loss must also be at least 10% of the reported what? Loss. So the loss and the profit are separate. If the, uh, the loss is 10% of the total loss, then that, you know, the 10% is the materiality test. Eh? So the 10% is considered to be what? Material. And therefore, and therefore, you have to report on it. So what you do for me, can you bring this one first? And then we bring the one with the loss separately down there. So bring all of them, then you try to add.
All right, so uh, you have cup sharp times two, three, and twenty-five. Give me a total of one ten. All right, then the profits you can get the percentage separation. So can you give me the percentage of this one here? Then the loss, the one which reported the loss, you also bring it separately. This is uh, hotel chain. Hotel chain. This one reported a loss of 14. So that one will be 100% loss. There was no any other. So you don't aggregate the loss and the profits. The loss you capture it separately. That is where someone maybe went wrong in that question. The loss is separate. At least loss will also be ten percent of the total what loss. So if it's ten percent and above, then that is also material. You have to report on it. So this one is a hundred percent loss. Uh, this one's so you write there and say under this condition under this condition under this condition manufacturing retailing and hotel chain and hotel chain and hotel chain are considered to be reportable segments are considered to be reportable segments full stop all right do for me uh assets then i give conclusion so I said that I go In fact, you do the percentage. Then you say you can go to your kawaida under this condition. You say which ones are reportable segments. Then so check assets chapter.
So for that, for the assets, you are you are supposed to report on which ones. You are reporting on manufacturing, retailing, and distribution. With what percentage? Yes, sixty-six, seventeen. Huh? 66, 11.5, and, and 17, eh? yeah. yes. Online, someone is saying that I'm um, sharing the screen. You cannot be able to, you cannot see the board. Is that true? I doubt. All right, so conclusion, right down there, conclusion. Conclusion, you say, the entity should consider all the four segments. The entity should consider all the four segments as reportable segments. Should consider all the four segments as reportable segments under IFRS 8. Under IFRS 8, full stop. Why? Because all of them, all of them under each they met the threshold. Yes. yes, so all of them should be reported upon. Let's go to December 2017. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. No, you know, when we are testing materiality, Materiality you can test in form of positiveness and negativeness. So when we talk of the profit, the aggregate of the profit should at least be ten percent of the entire of the total profits. The loss, the loss should also be at least ten percent of all the losses. Apparently, this question, the loss was only on one segment, so that is considered to be a hundred percent loss because it was the only loss we had. So the absolute measure does not mean the absolute is subtract upon so profits you treat them separately then the loss also the the minimum at least should be 10 percent which is considered material yes uh jane is saying hotel is less than 10 percent hotel chain for which for which one assets or which one jane specify as we check december 2017 Ah, no, the 75% will not apply, provided they meet the 10%. Because when you go for 75, uh, 75, what we say is when you find that the, the, total, revenue, uh, the total revenue is less than 
75%, and you check here, none of them in Africa 75%. So this means that 75%, we can further check if it can meet any. But in all cases, uh, even none, uh, none is meeting the 75%, so you cannot ignore all of them. 75%, you just check it at least all of them are, are above 75%, then you check are above 10. All of them are above 10%, and maybe there is one there whose revenue is at least 75%. So the, the main threshold is the 10%. 75% is very extreme. We're now to Nakosa any segment to report upon. So Jane is saying um, for the assets, Hotel is less than ten percent. Sindio, silikuwa less than. It was four point six. There is no problem. Hotel qualified under which one? No. It qualified under. Yes, it qualified for profit and loss. So you check one by one where did it qualify? This this one which qualified there? This one, this one, this one. Yes. Sir. Uh, or any any of the following criteria or it should be any of the following criteria so at least for the assets revenue and profit at least it should meet 10 percent of those ones once it meets any of the 10 percent then it should be reported upon it Hi, have you got another question? Question number 5B. So check question 5B of December 2017. So uh, Jane, I hope that is clear. At least any of the any of the four of the three, at least any of any of the three, it should meet 10% threshold. So December 2017, question 5B. C. So I'll get up B. Meanzia B, you know. B row and one, eh? Yes. I write there. Uh, let's read, let's read, let's read, let's read. It says, it says that uh, with reference to the international financial reporting, that is IFRS number eight operating segments, outline for disclosure requirements for a report of the segments. Those reportable, uh, those disclosure requirements, they are very easy. You can know, you know them, but you don't know you know them. Eh? What are your formats? What are your format event? Format started with what? Do we write? It starts with revenue, profits, assets, liabilities, then there is none cash expenses. Those are the, uh, the disclosure requirements. So, uh, so to indicate, let's write it formally. Disclosure requirements and IFRS 8. Disclosure requirements under IFRS 8. Disclosure requirements and IFRS 8, number one. General, general information general information on how the entity, general information on how the entity identified, on how the entity identified, identified 
its reportable segments, how the entity identified reportable segments. Of course, is through the 10% thresholds. Number two, information about information about segment profit stop loss, about segments profit stop loss, about segments profit stop loss. Next, information about segments revenue, information about segments revenue, about segments revenue, in brackets, both external and internal revenue, both external and internal revenue. Next, information about segment assets and liabilities, about segment assets and liabilities. Next, information about non-cash expenses, information about non-cash expenses and capital expenditure and capital expenditure. And finally, finally, a reconciliation statement, a reconciliation statement for revenue, a reconciliation statement for revenue, comma, profits, comma, assets and liabilities, assets and liabilities, full stop. But this segment of reporting is standing a good chance this semester. And so, uh, once you know the format, those are the disclosures, eh? the revenue, the profit, the assets, the liabilities, and the non-cash what? Expenses. If you want to add some, now you tell us how did you identify reportable segment? You are, they are normally identified based on the 10% ratio among others. Let's go from one to the following information was obtained from the financial records of Super Superfood Group for the year ended 31st October 2017. So there was the consolidated income statement, as you guys can see, then consolidated statement of financial position. Also, your eyes can be able to see there. You cannot read those things. Let's go to the additional information. For management purposes, the business is organized into not life, but five, five operating segments. That is retail, catering, manufacturing, <coughs> publishing, and others. So those are the segments. Details of the operating segments are provided below. So we have revenue. Actually, the first one should be, that first should be the, the segments. So we have the total revenue. We have intersegment revenue, operating profits, segment assets and liabilities. Number three, intersegment profits amounted to 42.23, required segmental report as far as information provided above allows, according to the International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS 8, 10 marks. So I want you to have that one as your Roman 1, just insert that required as Roman 1. I want to bring Roman 2. Whenever they give you the income statement and balance sheet, there's something they were supposed to ask. I don't know why. Maybe they requested for it, then they realized marks are many, then they deleted. Reconciliation statement, Roman 2. There should be Roman 2 there which we might find in the next question. Roman two, a reconciliation statement for revenue, reconciliation statement for revenue, comma, profits, profits, comma, assets, assets and liabilities. Assets and liabilities, full stop. Jen, I don't get you clearly. When you say repeat the last one, I don't know which last one, then uh, stop direct, stop texting me directly. Uh, text the entire class so that at least someone can help maybe when I don't understand what you're asking. Uh, so let's start. So they want segmental reports. 
Swanika hapo wanaitwa nani? Superfood. Okay. Uh, superfood group. Superfood are what kind of food? My idea is superfood. Okay. Which ones are superfood? Which one? For the year ended when? Those financials are ready when? 31st October 2017. So now they want a segmental report. Don't care whether it is meeting the 10% threshold. They have already identified them for reporting purposes. Right? That is now not your problem. So you just provide a report based on those ones. They are mean, the first one is uh, retail. So we have retail. We have catering. There is retail. There is catering. There is manufacturing. So we have manufacturing. Yeah. Distribution. Publishing. Then we have others. Then you say adjustment. Then you will have consolidated. So how they are consolidated, which is the total. So shillings, they are working in uh, thousands. So have the shillings in thousands. So have something like that.
So we start with revenue. We start with revenue. All right, there are revenue. Revenue. Revenue we have external. So external revenue. I told you this one can also be called sale to third parties. So external revenue, pick them. Where are they? You were not given. Sure. You were not given. I hope you are able to see that. They only gave us the total revenue. And intersegment total is the intersegment plus external. So external was not provided. So leave it hanging there. Then intersegment, intersegment revenue. How much is this? Uh, nothing. 74, 65, 36, 7, 91. Publishing was nothing. Then this one we have 56, 63. Then now these are called from your group accounting section three. You are told something called inter group sales. Eh? You eliminate. So whatever you sold amongst yourselves should not be disclosed in the consolidated. So you take this plus this plus this, but we eliminate it here. We adjust it out. So can you add the three? Uh, 
Only this place is not clear online. Upper two, only this place here. We can this one here. It is. Ah, I think the right up to. It is thirty six seven and twelve. That should be comma. How are you fifty six sixty three? C five point six six three. So how much? Huh? 49? 919. So segment revenue, that is revenue which you got internally as internal trading. So you don't take it to the consolidated financial statements. Then now, when you add the two, the two should give you total revenue. The sum of the two should give us the total revenue give us the total revenue. So total revenue, total revenue, capture them as given there. So total revenue, the ones which we have been given, this is 139, so what you do, you work backwards to get what was the external. So this minus this will give you 129, 842. This minus this, give me the answer. Give me this one. This is 32, three or six. This one, tell me the answer. Here there will be nothing. So this is 49, 919. Yes. So the first one, this minus this, you get 50. 59,388. The other one, 2704. Then others, others. But you want seven eighty four. Then add this plus this plus this plus this plus that. Check the consolidated. This was the sum of this plus this plus this. It gave us 49. 49, 919. It's the proper position. Yes. Total comes to? Yes. 305, 9.7. Thank you. So this is 943. Okay. So that is what you bring down here. And I hope when you add this one here, this plus this plus this plus this plus this minus this, you should get the same. There's a figure which is not correct. <laughs> Me, I'm writing what I've been given. <laughs> Which are the, the consolidated? External revenue. External revenue total should be now online. Two fifty six zero twenty four. Yes. I have those who are talking. Can you check the neighbor? Is there a neighbor who has copy? Yes. 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 Yes.
Uh, so that is done. Then you close it off. You're the in the next. No one is having an issue. So let's go to segment profit in that order. So segment profit. Segment profit. Segment profit. So segment profit operating. Give us operating operating profits, operating profits. How much was the operating profits? Now we have here sixty eight eighty seven forty seven sixteen twelve eighty three eleven sixty nine. Then we have 32, 84. Then out of this operating profit total, check for me number three, additional information number three. Are you seeing intersegment profit? Mm -hmm. So intersegment profit are the profit which we realized as a result of intersegment revenue. So we got an intersegment profit of how much? 42.20. Three. So that one you eliminate. So you add this plus this plus this plus this plus this. Then you eliminate the intersegment profit so that you get the total. So consolidated will be how much? Thirteen. Thirteen. One one. There were no other items, quite unfortunate. So they don't have any other unallocated. Unallocated, you could have captured them at the end. So you do this. You have this. This one here. You close it off at 13116. Then you tell us segment. Segment what? <laughs> segment assets. Follow that order. So identifiable, identifiable assets. Identifiable are those which are attached to a segment in particular. So can you look for them? Identifiable assets, where are they? You can see them. The retail was 50, 152, 45, 145, 24, 20, 14, 165, 23, 829. Nothing to adjust. So can you add across? Uh -huh. Total is how much? 157, 911. Then, are you seeing investment in associates? Investment in associates is not attached to any segment in particular. 
So that one is unallocated. Unallocated means it is general. So you bring it here. Investment. Investment in associate. How much? Seven. Yeah, seven. Four. So the total will be one fifty which one? One five eight. Six, seven, five. Then segment liabilities. Segment liabilities. Segment liabilities. Segment liabilities. Identifiable. Identifiable liabilities. Identifiable liabilities, identifiable liabilities, which ones? We have 14, 839, 97, 83, 96, Get the total. You get sixty seven. Ten. Then unallocated. Do they have unallocated? No. No. Then that one we just close. What a This one we just close. Sixty seven. Ten. Full stop. So I don't know why the examiner was not asking you for the reconciliation. When they give you the financial statement, the main purpose is always for you to reconcile. So I want us to carry out reconciliation. So Roman two, write their reconciliation statement. Reconciliation statement. So reconciliation means, you know, this report is normally actually is normally meant for an accountant. This segmental report because normally people go to a GM. We want to say that everybody in a GM is an accountant. Now, an accountant to do a PSG actuarial games. So now, some more put it. Yes, so you give them something condensed. Tell us how much was revenue, how much was profit, how much were our sites, and how much are the what? Liabilities. Someone who's just an investor, that is story, Nikki's view, the one there in the group, you want what story, Nikki, no. They just want to know how much was revenue, the profit, the assets, and the liabilities. So, uh, what we want to check now in the reconciliation, in the segmental report, you are telling us that profit, the revenue is 256. You are telling us that profit is 13, assets 158, liabilities this. If we reconcile this with the financial statements, will they be in order? That is the purpose of reconciliation. They should be in order. So let's check. So right there, reconciliation statements. Reconciliation. Statement. So, what they want us to reconcile is revenue, profit, stop loss, assets, and what? Liabilities. Those are the items we are expected to reconcile. So, I'll check for all retail, so I'll be a retail, catering. Manufacturing, publishing, and others. Then you will give me the total sphere. See, my job will be this one of the very concise because they have asked before. So, uh, retail revenue, 
just give us the total. You give us the total. So the total here, we have 129, 842. We have 66, 853. We have 39, 495. We have 32, 306. We have 37, 447. Can you give us this total? This plus, this plus, this plus, this plus, this. How much? You can get it without necessarily adding. You can come here. You say 256, four plus this. You know? Because when you add this, 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 minus this, you go to 56. So you can take this plus this. Or you can add to confirm. Ah, uh, how much is that? Three or five? Nine forty three. Let's go to profit sixty eight eighty seven forty seven sixteen. 1283, 1169, 30, which one? 3284. Can you give me the total before subtracting 4223? Or you can check this plus this. Seventeen. Three three nine. Assets. Make those identifiable. That is 50. 152, 45, 145, 24, 620. There is 14, 165. There is 23, 829. That one gave us 157, 911. Liabilities, there is 14, 839. There is 97, 83. There is 36, 09. There is 4704. There is 34175. This one gave us 67 and 10. So let's be there first. Let's be there first. Good. Then now you say uh, intercedent, intercedent, stroke, and allocated. I don't have space. You can write it in full. Intercedent, stroke, and allocated. Intercedent, intercedent, stroke, and allocated. So intercedent revenue, this one we got 49. 919, that one you will subtract. Intersegment sales are not considered to be uh, be considered for consolidated. Intersegment profit was 42, 23. Assets, there was an allocated asset of 760. Oh, sorry, this one you don't subtract, you add. An allocated, you add. This one, there was nothing. So what you will get there 
is as per the seg uh, segmental report, which, if correct, should tally should tally with the ones which are appearing in the financial statements. So you say there, as per the financial statements, as per the financial statements, then you check now. So as per the financial statements. So when we take this minus this, that was giving us how much? 256, 024. So before we post, is that was appearing in the profit account as revenue? And now that one you consider to reconcile. In the profit account, which they gave us the consolidated income statement, is that what they captured? You check the total revenue, their total revenue. Are they in order? Yes, there was sale of goods, services revenue, rental income, total revenue, 256,024. So you give us here, yeah, that one is okay, 256,024. Then down here, you write R. R stands for what? Reconcile, sure, it's okay. So if it was not, we cannot reconcile. Okay. <laughs> but now you see it's stressful because if it's not in order, it means that you can reconcile. But if you you can reconcile. If you don't have to reconcile, you can reconcile. time. P and L, when we took this minus this, we got 13,116. The profit should be after eight, all the expenses. We should be profit before tax. So check, check in the P and L. Their P and L is their profit before tax is 13, 116. Yes. So 13, 116. Even that one has to be consigned. I'm always going to say, I'm going to say, Then let's go to the assets. So our assets, when we added all this, plus they are allocated, we got 158,675. What about them? Their total assets, so check the balance sheet. Yes. 158, eh? Yes. yes. So this is 158,675, even that one has required size. Then finally, liabilities, with us, we have 67,110. So can you check their liabilities? So the easiest way to check the liabilities, their total equity and liabilities is how much? The total equity and liabilities is how much? 158,675. So take that one minus equity. Equity is 90 what? 91,565. So subtract. You're back in the liabilities. So take 158,675 minus equity. Because how? We are getting 67, 110, even that one is much So whenever they have given you those consolidated, reconciliation is always very vital. Let's proceed. Huh? Uh, so let's give our Muslim brothers a few minutes to pray. Then we come back. Then we come back for that question. So that I can leave you checking. Okay. Yes. Pilot paper, December 2021. Make up for December 2021. December 2021. Pilot paper. Question 3A. Yes, question 3A. 3A.
So as you pray, you can start. Those who are not praying can start doing the question. As I can go. Farida, go for prayers. And we come back. We stop at two for your arrangement purposes. Najua kuna njia mengoja wa kachini, so unaza watetu ambi amesema two. To Caribbean, Caribbean by two, so we stop at two.
Sitting a week to check in. 2013. Pilot. Pilot. Eh? Ah, so let's check that pilot better. There are some three questions I've sent in the group. May or not? They are also very important for us. All right, so the pilot says, so this is the same So it says, Mutangazaji Limited operates in Kenya and in other East African countries. The company has two operating segments, that is print and TV, print and TV stock radio. The following details apply for the year ended 30th June 2021. So we have revenue, cost of sales, depreciation, amortization, impairment of receivables, other operating costs, finance cost, finance income, share of reserves of associates, current assets and current assets, investment in associates, current liabilities, non-current liabilities. Then we have capital expenditure required. As far as the information permits, prepare the segmental report showing the results of each segment and for the combined entity. Combined entity is the consolidated. So first, which are the, which are the segments here? We have? Huh? We have print, TV stock, radio. Nizo to be this. So, right there, in Tangazaji Limited. There's a for F. You will know that we have capital expenditure. The first one was print. 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 
You want to do segments like this one. Mm -hmm. Shillings are in millions. Shillings are in millions. That one. <coughs> Brian is asking whether an allocated can also be a segment. Brian, <laughs> an allocated cannot be a segment. An allocated are those items which are not specific to, they are not specific to any segment. So people are ready. So right there, are ready. So when you check it keenly, that revenue, there was no intersegment revenue, neither there was there was no external. Eh? So it's just the total revenue. So give us here total revenue. Total revenue. This is 109. 558, TV 26, 698. There is nothing to adjust. So can you add the two? Now, final to be on the letter any time, copy paste. When you add the two, what do you get? 136? 136, 256. So this one you can close. You can close this one. But, but, one, three, six, two, fifty, six. Then segment profit. Segment profit. Segment profit. We have operating profit, which you are not given. So I want you to have a working outside there. Let's have some workings. You are not given profit. However, operating profit, what you do, you will take revenue minus what? Cost of sales, yes. So working for profit, profit in each case, so for print, for profit in bracket, revenue minus cost of sales. We check the revenue, the less cost of sales. So print will be 109.558 minus cost of sales was 16.908. Then TV, stock radio will be 26.698. Minus 60.52. Yes, so we'll give you those profits in each case. So operating profit, that one you get, this one get print. Ninety-two six fifty. Uh-huh. 
646. There was no intersegment. So total comes to one. There was operating cost. What is this here? Is there something like that? Other, are you saying other operating costs? <laughs> yes. So uh, other operating costs, other operating costs, how much? 17, 598. Uh huh. Sixteen. One one. And sixty. Total. When you add the two, what do you get? Eighty-eight seven. Seven fifty-eight. Then we have other items, but before other items, you can have these ones here. Okay. Which one? Four. This one? Yes. 72? 598. 598. Sour. Okay. You can add these totals. Can you add them? You can add those totals. So this one comes to what? This one, like. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Twenty zero fifty two, and this one here. Forty four nine sixty. Nine sixty six. What is the move? Forty four. Nine six. Six. Good. And finally. A6. A6. And finally, 6970. 6970. Other items. Other items. Other items can you check for me? John is asking uh, there is an allocated other operating cost or both. Yes. Huh? yes, there is. There is? An allocated operating cost. Yes, you don't about other items. So other items, one, I'm seeing finance, uh, there is finance cost. Finance cost. Finance cost is how much? Okay. So it's okay, no problem. Finance cost is seven, seven. Or okay, even this one, we should subtract, no problem. This one, 66 to the end, eight, seven, seven, eight, 40. Nearly answered that all happened. Then there is uh, finance, there is finance income. Finance income, they said it was unallocated. Eh? So unallocated means to the far end. How much? 
4064. That one you add, finance income you add. Then other operating cost, there was an allocated. So an allocated cost. I don't get out you, there is no problem. An allocated to the far end, it was how much? 10? 802. That one you should subtract. There is nothing. Just being keen, nothing. Other operative question. There is nothing. Those are other nothing. So can you make that adjustment? So what you get there now is the profit before tax. So when you want to reconciliation, you base it here. <clears throat> Once you adjust the interest, what you base is profit before taxation. You can adjust those ones. So how much is the first one? 19? No? This one here? And total? 16? Segment assets. Segment assets. Hey, machine of flow, when you could You see the one can you have segment assets? You start with segment revenue, segment profit, assets, liabilities, and cash expenses, capital expenditure is any. Uh, segment assets identifiable. So identify what those which are specific, identifiable, check, identifiable assets. Can you spread them across? Check for me the ones which are unallocated. Identifiable are which ones? 
and you have to combine them. So non current plus current, and that is for paint. So for assets, I'm going to distress. Print is equals to 43, 760 plus 1404. Nibble. I combine them. See, you. And current for print is how much? Yeah. Oh, for current, yeah? If what is my power. Current is 34, 620. This one is okay. Yeah. I add the two. 73. 18. Then for TV and the radio. Do you use 3258 plus 71? I add the two, I respond something here, and allocated. Where do we take share of results as a shape? But I, but I, uh -huh. how much? 40? 40. So I bring them here. B and is the two of them. 78, 380, 49, 7, 42. Total? One. One, one, eight. One, two. There were unallocated assets. I unallocated assets. Unallocated. Can you combine the two? Unallocated 71 and 40. Can you add for me? Yes, correct. 20? <laughs> 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. How much is the unallocated? 87 one. Was there investment in other shapes? Yes. yes. So that one is also unallocated. Investment in other shapes. Investment in other shapes. How much? 29.708. So, Fisher. There is nothing. So, Mgeja, I hope you have seen where we have placed your question. So, where can you apple? So, the total for the assets. The main thing, where is your society? You can 100% perfect with segment. At least you know the format, how it's flowing. They can use only one other whichever way. So, what are your format? You know how to go about it. Uh, when you add this total, what do you get? Two. Zero ten. Let's go to segment liabilities. Segment liabilities. Identifiable liabilities. Identifiable liabilities. So do for me this favor. Add for me, uh, there is both current and non current. Eh? So combine those two. Then there is an allocated. So they are allocated also, you combine for me both non current and current. And allocated liabilities. Can you combine them? Then you provide me with the figures plus the totals. Tap, tap. We are finishing in the next few minutes. Once you're done with that question, then I'll tell you what happens.
I want to Melissa. Give me the figures online. I will identify figures. Identify book for print. Eighteen. Uh huh. Fifty-four zero four. Fifty-five zero four. Like that. Five zero five zero. Five zero five zero four. Uh huh. Sixty-eight zero three. Right, sir. Yes. Unallocated. Book of motion. You see. Fourteen. 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 Uh, you can add the total there. Then there is non cash expenses. I saw them there. Just proceed down there. Non cash expenses. Which ones are they? I want to hear them from your side. Yes. There is liquidation. Depreciation is how much? 92. 92. 92. 942. Total. 10. Amortization. Amortization. 
amortization is the one so this is 27 zero two okay so total will be 11 11 wow so we Nine nine four. Nine nine four. Then amortization is the one which is nine forty two. Then TV, you get ten. Eleven twenty four. Then impairment. Impairment. How much? Fourteen. Nine ninety truck total I you will add those totals. Then there was there is one remaining capital loss, capital expenditure, capital expenditure. That's the farthest we can go. Capital expenditure are not very common. So identifiable capital expenditure identifiable. We have 35, 32. We have 11, 38. Total huh? 36, 70. 36, 70. Those other ones. We shall be dense there. So, just in case someone brings something like that in exam, you will be safe. I check the hand of which I've sent. Just open that handout briefly. <laughs> there is someone to highlight areas that Tangazaji Limited needs to improve in segmental reporting to comply with IFRSA segmental report. The areas to, uh, to improve is to regulate the expenditure, to expand. To expand them, the revenue. When you expand revenue, you minimize this. So it's just the answers might not be might not be standardized. Revenue will just increase increasing the sales revenue, then reducing the operational costs, uh, reducing the uh, actually most of the operational costs should be reduced because if you check that is eighty eight versus one thirty is so high. So increase expanding the sales revenue, reducing the operational cost, then um, investment that is that is okay, assets, asset base is okay, liabilities, liabilities are not exceeding the assets, not that bad. Uh, capital expenditure, capital expenditure is not exceeding the value, that is okay. You just explain most of the revenue and the costs. So that one might not be standardized. I open the handout. I want to tell you something there. Open your handout. In that handout, I want you to check June 2013. Are you seeing the June 2013? Huh? June 2013 is the first question there. Mm -hmm. Yes, that one. Then 
there is June 2012, the one which is following. Then there is June 2012. Then there is June 2011. Then this other one came from nowhere. So, so now what I'll do, I have the solution to, to June 2013 and June 2011. 2012, I don't consider it to be that, that bad. No. What you do, attempt for me June 2013 and June 2011, then we'll finish them in the next class. Or I have an option, I have the solution for the two. Can I send you, you do them, you compare, instead of wasting all that next Sunday. Can that work? Then, I need to tell you something, if that will be the case, the last question, the last question, check the last one, which has no setting. It is similar. It is similar with June 2013. The only difference with, uh, with the two is that the last one has 28 and 27. Eh? Mayona, there are two years, 208 and 207. Eh? So in the required, when you check required, you realize you are being told, they are talking of the year 2008. So the 207 figures are irrelevant. You only work for 2008. So when you have two comparative, you only work for the year which has been requested. So they are the same. The solution for 2013 is a guide to 20, to that last question, except you only concentrate on 2008. So allow me to share that. Then you can work it out. You will ask. You will ask me before we go to the next topic instead of wasting the time. So I'm sharing that right away. No, I'll take a nice. I'll, we have a Jandeka visual. Let me write it myself, then I will share with you the course of the day. Uh, so, fine. Thank you. Let's meet in the next class. So, when we meet in our respective classes, I said we are continuing with the group accounts. Alimony Kunakitogo will be for employee benefits. Yesterday, I was not feeling well. So, we will finish, then we start on groups. Other classes, we can start in the next classes. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Which one? 1042. When you will call me, we will check out. No problem.